Red Bull's helmet Marco gave his honest assessment of Ferrari's new team principal and their big decision to let go of Mattia Binotto after a frustrating season that offered so much hope. The prancing horse parted ways with Bonato after an underwhelming 2022 campaign which promised so much more. Last week, Frederick Vasuva was named as his replacement and vacated his role at Alfa Romeo in the process. Looking ahead to 2023, Marco doubts the appointment will strengthen Ferrari and alternatively should have recruited a sporting director to work alongside Bonato to steady the ship. He goes on to state that he doesn't quite understand the change and that Benotto is an excellent technician and politician. Marco said, He was simply overwhelmed by the task, but it would have been enough to put a sporting director at his side to support him at the track and with the strategy. With the new man, who has many other jobs, I see a weakening for Ferrari. Heading further into the future, Red Bull may well form a partnership with Ford once again. Reports suggest that Ford has been linked with the return to F1 in tandem with the reigning Constructors Champions. I have made a video about this and the link is in the top right corner. Fernando Alonso has insisted he is ready to deliver something special as an Aston Martin driver and warned his new team he expects such lofty standards to be reciprocated. The two-time champion brought an end to his third association with Enstone-based Alpine to make the switch to Aston Martin as a replacement for Sebastian Vettel, who retired at the conclusion of the season. Alonso will join Aston Martin in the third year of the Silverstone-based outfit's five-season plan to reach the top of F1 and challenge for championships. The Spaniard, despite being 41, still harbors ambitions of winning a third title even though it will be 17 years next season since his previous triumph in 2006. He went on to say, Next year to close the gap that Aston Martin has now I think is unrealistic. But we need to put the foundations in, we need to put the baseline for future cars and to work better than the people around us. This is a very competitive environment, so to become champion, you need to deliver something special. I'm ready to deliver something special from my side and expect the same from them. So do you think Aston Martin can challenge for championships? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have enjoyed this video, then a sub to the channel would be amazing. Apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the video, hope you have an awesome day, and until next time, goodbye.